Hello there everybody and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now it's been a while since I've done a mod spotlight. Last week it was Josh's turn. Um, I let him do the mod of the month. Which was a nice Volvo pack. And this time we're in a DAF. And you may think oh, I've gone mad again. But no. This isn't any old DAF. This is the um, brand new mod by 50 Kader. It's called the 50 Kader DAF XF. And... From appearances at the moment, it looks completely standard, like any other DAF that you can buy in the game, but I'm going to show you all of the amazing upgrade options you can get for it in the upgrade shop. So let's head over there now. So, I can actually control it this time because I've got a brand new mouse and keyboard. So in the upgrade shop you can see that all the textures are upgraded from the original DAF. They look a lot better, especially the lights. Which have got like little um, xenon bits, which look really nice. So, in terms of cabs, we've got space, space with painted mask, which means just a painted grill, space with side spoiler, space with side spoiler and painted grill, space cab plus, space cab with painted grill, super space, and super space with painted grill. So, we've got loads of options for this. I'm going to keep with the black grill because I think it's a lot better. And then in terms of the chassis, we've got all the usual ones, but um, with and without the painted grill. So if you want it like that, that that looks quite nice usually. I'm going to keep it with the 4x2 so we can get all the upgrade options as possible. Um, in terms of engines, we've got the standard engines from the DAF range from SES. So we've got 360 horse, 410, 460 and 510. And to be honest, it's not really sufficient 510 horsepower. Although it seems a lot, it's a little bit gutless still. So yeah, not not too bad on there. We've got um, non-retarder and retarder gearboxes, and inside is where it gets really nice. Um, this is the standard interior. And then we have DAF 50k DAF exclusive with GPS, which you can notice has immediately brought in all these all these lovely radios and uh, silvered some of the bits which looks quite nice and then we've got DAF exclusive with built in GPS which is um, sort of a wood trim, wooden brown it's not to my taste but some people may like it and then we've got exclusive without GPS and the brown exclusive without GPS so I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the cream exclusive with GPS which looks quite nice for a DAF, that is, <laughs> and all these instrument clusters light up really nicely at night. So there we go. Now paint. Um, there's no new paint at the moment in this this shop here, but we're going to go over to the paint shop and check them out. Side skirts. So we've got stock, a cage which is just two bars, stock plates, and a stock plate with an exhaust. So I know with those ones and then put some nice exhausts down the bottom so we've got the standard exhausts from SES we can put on down here which look really nice um, wheels so there's no new wheels in this pack but it's completely up to you how you customize these bits like I always say it's up to you and the way that you customize your truck you could go with some standard wheels, you could go with some chrome it's entirely up to you um, mirrors, we've got paint plastic chrome like usual, I'm gonna go with plastic. Oh god, Josh is like me. Message you when done. Okay. I'm gonna have some chrome door handles. Um. So yeah, immediately you can see this truck is taking shape. We're gonna go down to a lower grill, and then um, with the 50k, we've got only slots down here. Sting with only slots and all the other default ones. Plus the Ranger fits nicely now. So I'm going to go with this one and put um, some mud flaps down here. So we've got all of the, the lights from the Scania 50k um, transferred over to this one so we can get all the nice grill lights and that's, you know, um, the Scania 50k, I was questioning why there was a DAF mud flap. Well, this was probably in the pipelines for quite a while, I'm guessing, because now it has its place on this truck. So I'm going to go ahead and add them. And I'm going to put some little orange lights down here. Down here. So. 
Hang on a minute. Oh god. Still getting used to this mouse. It's a little bit more sensitive than the other one. Um, usual side steps, and then we've got the ball bars. Um, nothing's changed here apart from we have a 50k multi bar, which is quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead and configure that as well. Put some lights on it. I've got some custom lights, but you could use the default ones, they look just as good. And then we're going to put a few little white lights down here. I, li I like the way that they've um, added loads of little option areas so you can really get the lights in there. So there we go, that's it for the bottom. Around here we've got number plates, so I'm going to put in Lexus and then DAF hater. <laughs> DAF, 50k DAF, 50k DAF, and then so we've got the sun visors moving our way up. Um, no new ones, but I think the stock looks the best to be honest. The rest stick out a little bit too much, in my opinion. So I'm going to stick with the stock um, sun visor. Now up here, as you would expect from a 50k to mod, we've got um, things like this. So we've got the only slots and then we've got a light bar with loads of slots. So I'm just going to go ahead and customise them with all of the uh, usual upgrades from 50k. So I might put a roof box on here. That would look quite cool. Yeah! So up here I'm going to put some horns. Horns. Oh my god. Uh, beacons. Oh god, this is going to take a while. Right, let's shove some lights on here. Which ones are they? It just says Hella. I don't know which Hella it is though. Right, try and do this as quickly as possible. To make sure you don't get bored. But yeah, you get the gist of it. We can also have uh, orange lights in between the normal spotlights, which is quite good. So, we can have grill lights up here and then we can do the same with that little bar down there but I'm not going to do that because well I might actually just going to quickly do that so there we go there's the DAF all customised up looks pretty cool you've got, to, you've got to admit it looks pretty cool for a DAF I mean you're not going to get much better than that so in this mod, we also have interior accessories. Da, da, da. So, we can have a sat nav straight out of the uh, 50k scanner. We can have curtains. And we can have furry dice, which is somewhere. There we go, furry dice. Check that out. I bet you're jealous. So, there we go. And we can also have secondary GPS in case the first one fails in there but I'm not gonna bother with that see so, oh yeah, you can you can fully customize the interior as well as the exterior you can see a little dice in there it looks really cool so yeah that's that's all customized up I go over to the paint shop and see which paints we can get in the mod pack itself so in the mod pack we can get three different skins I've got this one which is quite nice I like to keep it white like that or we have oh, okay so they they, ch they change I was just checking that they actually change so we've got this one this one and this one they're all quite similar but I think I'm gonna go with this paint scheme and bring in some red there so that's quite nice so there we go let's get it out in the sunlight and have a look have a browse so there you go. It looks quite smart, you've got to admit. So that's the 50k DAF all customised up. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the way this looks. Both cosmetically and in terms of the uh, all the upgrades that you can get. It's really nicely thought out. And so is the interior, in fact. It's really, really good. But 
what do you expect from 50k? Though? He's he's the guy that made the, the, the brilliant um, Scania 2008. In it's pretty much what you'd expect from him. So I'm just going to start it up and uh, probably not going to do a load today because um, the engine's a bit pathetic. But I am going to talk through some pros and cons of this mod. So then, while we're waiting in traffic, <laughs> I'm just going to try and push my way through. I'm in a daft, get out of the way. So the first pro is, um, we've got vastly improved texturing and accuracy over the standard SCS DAF. So as you can see, the texturing is really good. Even in white it looks good. Now that's that's a good test for modded trucks. Those that look good in white have good textures. Also another pro is custom interiors. Um, the interior is fully customizable. You've got loads of options for the colors and uh, quite a few options for how you want to customize it with the accessories as well. So you can have a sat nav on the dashboard or the sat nav um, up on the table if you want. You can have dice, different colored curtains. It's really good. Um, the only thing I would say is um, I think the seat, it's, I think it's just me, but the, the seats don't look particularly nice, or the bed in fact. But yeah. You have to compromise somewhere, I suppose. And it's really cool because all all these dials light up orange at night, which looks really good. And there's a um, green light. <laughs> oh, we're going here. And then um, one of the final pros is we've got lots of upgrade options. Now this is a pro to anyone who likes upgrading trucks, who likes custom trucks, and making their truck completely unique and personal to them. And uh, the 50 k truck does that extremely well in terms of uh, the DAF customizing and to me it's really nice to see that a different modder has made a special effort over a DAF truck because usually it's the Scania's and the Volvo's get all the attention which isn't such a bad thing but um, people who like DAFs, people who like IVCOs and stuff often get like abandoned in terms of mods so it's really nice to see that um, they've made the effort with this truck. And another pro is that you get custom paint jobs. I mean, this is just one that I quickly threw on the truck. But you can make it really look really nice with your custom paint jobs. There are a few cons, though, as usual, with most mods. Um, I just talked um, about one of them, which is the NAF texturing on the seat. But it's okay as long well, you're driving in this position anyway, so it's out of your view usually so um, one con is it's left hand drive only um, it's not so much of a con if you only drive in Europe or you are European but for English people um, I know I prefer to drive a right hand drive truck no matter what um, some people will only drive right hand drive but yeah it's not too much of a compromise if, as long as you stay in Europe um, and not go into the UK but I feel that 50k could have added a right-hand drive option, even if it just was the standard interior, because at least that way you get a right-hand drive truck. You don't get the accessories, obviously, but at least you do get right-hand drive. It's plane's a bit slow, isn't it? I'm in the uh, Poitiers Airport at the moment. It's in Pro Mods. Um, the second con really is that it, it sounds pathetic. I'm going to be honest here, I, I was expecting better in terms of the sound. I'm just going to go through his wing. I mean... It sounds pretty bad, and, and the horn, everything about it is just a bit naff, to be honest. Um, I think it is the standard SES sound, though, so if you wanted to change that, then you could maybe just get a sound mod for a standard DAF XF and it may work but I'm not sure there but it's very quiet as well I've got the headphones turned like right up and I can barely even like hear it so that is another con but it's not too much of a con if you're used to the standard SCS sounds it's, I think I think mainly it's just me because I'm used to loud scanners and stuff 
it seems quite weird to go back to a really quiet truck but anyway could be a con for you might not be um, and another con that could be a con for you is sort of broadlining the con is uh, the engines only go up to 510 horsepower it may seem like a, quite a bit but to be honest if you if you put in over 20 ton this thing is like really sluggish and I was pulling like 30 ton last night I think and it, it wasn't really a pleasurable experience to be honest so if you have trailer mods I, I wouldn't recommend um, towing anything too substantial like the train or anything with this truck but if you're used to the standard DAF anyway that only goes up to 510 horsepower so there's no change but I would have liked to have seen an upgraded engine or um, a new set of engines from 50 Kader but it's pretty much perfect to be honest the, those are only like really tiny little niggles that I've spotted I've, I've taken this truck on quite a few journeys and it's behaved well um, it's really nice to drive and yeah I, I recommend that you download it if you like DAFs it's a really cool truck both to customize and to drive and of course it's by 50 Kader so what else do you expect but perfection <laughs> So the download link to this mod is in the description as usual. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out modsaholic.com if you want any more mods. There's loads of great mods on there including all the ones featured on this YouTube channel. You can find them all on modsaholic.com. So there's no shortage of mods from there. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more great videos. And I'll see you next time guys. Bye! Bye.